Hey guys, it's uh, Sygenix again, uh, here with Sunday's video. This is the Wrath Machine Raid glitch video. Uh, it's, an, it's an old glitch, but I'm going to show you that it's still possible during Age of Triumph, and you can do it on a Titan or a Hunter. All you're going to need is a striker build with that setup. Just I'll, I'll keep it on there for a moment so you can like pause the video and, and change it over and have it to set up to whatever you think that is necessary. And use any kind of sword. Dark Drink is one of the better ones because it has higher ammo pickup. It has the most ammo and you're going to need a few heavy synths and a lot of luck with the titan actually because it's quite tough to get up there but uh let's get into it right from here we'll want to jump up to the ledge seriously this is not my day uh we'll we'll go up to here we'll come into here we'll then jump up towards this bit now this is the most challenging part here because you're going to want to come out and do that and that is how you get up to this bit and then from there this bit's even better because you've got to get pretty high up in the sky before you can swipe into the corner up here and this is where it gets a bit more complicated you come up and swipe in just here and then you'll jump over to this side and then as you get to here you've got to be very careful because there is an invisible wall above your head that will literally knock you off the side of this so as you jump up, you literally have to just keep trying because that happens. Right, so from here, you're going to want to jump across to here. Now, for some reason, the Titan seems to have more issues with an invisible wall than a Hunter does, so you're going to have to be really, really lucky. But luckily, when you get to that point over there, you actually get a checkpoint once you get to that corner. So every time you fail, you can just come back to there and you just repeat the process until you get up here I'm gonna quickly refill my heavy ammo because it's almost out and then we'll continue this but we're pretty much getting there now um, you just come across here and we just keep climbing up and up and up Now I'm only doing the 370 version because my character only has that unlocked on my Titan because I haven't actually run Wrath of the Machine on my Titan. I think I've only done it on my Warlock and my Hunter because I'm not much of a raider. Um, not really a person for that. That was frustrating, but I think it should give us a checkpoint, hopefully just above the globe, and we'll continue. Well, that's weird. Um, <laughs> it slides us down. This is where it gets annoying because for some reason the Titan slides a lot more than the Hunter does there and it does get a little bit irritating. Definitely the harder one to do it on is the Titan. If you have a Hunter with bones of AO and max agility Night Stalker, it's pretty easy. You get to here and you let your character slide down and you get onto this little ledge bit that's just here. Right, so from here we're going to go over to that ledge literally just there and we will continue from that point on sometimes it will drop you into that hole and then you'll fall through the world or you'll just get stuck make sure that doesn't happen and then from here you're going to want to jump out ways and attempt to get up there it is sometimes quite a challenge I've got to say right and then once you get up here you swipe up again now this is only the first part of the glitch so I'm going to ha actually have to repeat the process without recording and come back to that location but you then come here and you just let the game kill you once it says splices then you've done this first part of the glitch and you'll be able to enter the bit where the two first exotic chests are and you can farm both exotic chests and sometimes stuff drops up to 400 if you do the heroic version so if you're still someone that's grinding up then it's perfect for you because you'll be able to get the 400 gear you need but uh, this is the first chest here you just open that it doesn't really matter what I get I'm not too bothered I'm just doing this for like showing you that the glitch is still possible after Age of Triumph uh, we then come back up here and if you haven't been in the raid before the that's the first chest where we've just gone the second one is literally across here
I, I really messed up that first jump. There will be a little drake that tries to attack you. Just ignore him, run past him, come through this little tunnel bit, and across to here, you then jump up, and we then go underneath there, and we crouch through. And if you just drop down onto this platform here, you can jump onto that platform there, come across here, and that's the second chest. And if you just give me a moment, we will come back and we'll be back to the spot with the ledge on the globe, and we'll show you the second part of the glitch from there. Well, we're here again now, and I've managed to do it after quite a stressful time. Uh, managed to get it done a lot quicker that time, though, to be fair. So once you've got back to this point, to be fair, the beginning is definitely the hardest part. Once you've done that, you shouldn't really have too many issues. For some reason, the Titan does struggle with invisible walls a lot more than the Hunters do. So once we get up here, you literally, rather than going underneath this bit, you just literally come across, drop down, and the turn back will disappear. You'll still get the Splicer's Den come up at the bottom, but you just literally continue. You then try and get onto one of these ledges, so you can literally just run across the map. And from here, you then drop down. Don't worry, you won't go through the map. And then you jump up across this bit. And most of this is fairly simple. I mean, once you've done it once, you probably won't need to refer to a tutorial again. So, I mean, if anyone's seen these already, then just me confirming that it's in Age of Triumph and still works will probably be enough to get you back into glitching it or knowing that it's still possible. But I'm not even sure how many people are aware of the glitch, so it's just nice to upload a video about it. Just let people know it still exists. Now, when you jump onto this this ledge bit here, it can make the whole world just disappear, and finding where you need to jump next is a bit of a pain. That time I got fairly lucky. You jump up to this bit. Across here, I'm sorry if there's any background noise, my neighbors are oh, so super loud. always makes recording a pain but I, I I will still record nonetheless if there is background noise I'm so sorry they are I, I can't believe how loud they can be from time to time that's ridiculous so as we come back to this point and move across to here you may need to swap the sword to land on that ledge and just come across we are nearly here at this point so we just keep running over here in a minute we'll come up to some spikes near that doorway you're going to want to turn right into the tent wait for it to tell you it's loading and you should literally fall through the map here we go you'll hit the ground die and you'll be in apex once you reach apex you've glitched out to the three hidden chests here we are look on top of the wall and literally if you want to get the two first chests you turn around and go back on yourself come through here you literally come through here. Just, yeah, it's literally a pretty simple process. The first one is just up there. Just run across this bridge. And we grab that one there. I love how usually I get exotics, but so far in this one I'm literally just getting legendary bad example of how gear, good gear you can get but I mean it's a fairly easy set of legendary gear you could get here which drops at a max of like 390 now from engrams so it's an improvement in your light level if you're not 400 yet it's pretty useful so you just jump across this bit down to here onto that one to this one here we then get here and you're going to want to go onto the left platform there and then it kind of goes up now when you usually come out of this bit I always used to get confused when I first started playing Rise of Iron when you come out of this bit in a minute because you have to come back this way to get to the final chest and I used to always get confused so I'll make sure I clarify which way you go because I, I just couldn't work out where I was going back on myself because it's just such a confusing raid but you'll want to jump on those pipes up onto this ledge here and across to this bit here and then on the left here will be the chest uh, 
that one literally didn't drop anything, so I'd assume it went to the Postmaster. We'll drop down to here. And from here, this is the confusing part, you literally go to the right, down there, where that load of stuff is. Just here, and then we come across here. This bit can be a pain at times, and can definitely challenge your jumping skills, because you're going to want to go up to this second one. And from here, there's no way you'll reach that third one. So, you try and aim to hit this bit literally just here. And then from there, you just jump over to the opposite one and then up. And from there, you can jump back up here, back up here, and then you'll be back at the wall again in a moment, and you just run across the wall to the other end. I'm pretty sure in some cases, if you die while going across the bridge, it, it may bring you to the checkpoint where you need to be. But I've had a moment, I, I don't know if it's just a bug sometimes, but I've had a moment where I died here by accident and it sent me all the way back to the very beginning of the raid and that was a horrible pain in the ass because no one was there to save the checkpoint for me at Apex so I couldn't leave and rejoin, I literally had to do the glitch again. So always try to avoid death, so just don't go near the edges of the bridge or too close to fire or any of the holes in the ground and you should be safe to just keep jumping across this bit of the map and eventually you'll reach the edge and you just jump off of that and make sure you don't die pretty much it's one of the main things you've got to do um, you just literally keep running across this bit I'm doing this so that anyone who didn't know the glitch was still active can tell that it's still active because this video was made on the 29th of April 2017, which is post Age of Triumph and post patch after Age of Triumph, so it's it's quite old. Now the glitch was found way back when hard mode, just before hard mode came out, so it's it's been around for a long time. They haven't fixed it, so you should be safe and say that it probably won't ever be fixed. And you'll probably always be able to glitch this. So what you want to do is ensure that you don't die here because that can mess things up. You just want to go up here and get towards the pipe that you can see literally there, but in the sky. I can't actually aim high enough with my sword, but yeah, that one there. And we just run across here. Up onto this rock, and up onto this rock. Seriously, my neighbours, you know, they're drilling. It, it just makes things annoying. It makes recording videos so much different, so much more difficult, because I've got to, like, guess when they're not doing anything and, and try and make time of that and I'm already a busy person so I don't get the time so once you get to this pipe you just come up here and you grab that um, thank you for watching the glitch uh, I'm actually going to show you the rewards I get just to clarify what you can get from these and so I'll see you at the tower right so we're back at the tower now and I've got my legendary engrams to give to the cryptarch let's head over and see what we got from it earlier. So, we got a legendary class item. I think we got two of those. We've got two boots, I think, as well. One heavy and one primary. We'll do the class ones too, because they're, they should be first, because they're terrible. The two of the same. Great start. So the boots. Ah, the two different PlayStation exclusives. Fine. And then we've got the legendary heavy and the legendary priming and that was a palindrome so that's not exactly a bad result um, so in terms of what they drop at obviously they drop at a max of 390 the perks on that are quite ridiculous actually reinforced barrel mullet okay <laughs> no, that's not bad i might keep that one for future and review that at some point uh something wicked can go away though because it's a terrible rocket launcher um the Jovian Guard, they dropped at 390. The Hesperos Type O, they dropped at, I'm going to keep them, they dropped at 390. So did these, they're disgusting, but they dropped at 390, so you could infuse them if you wanted to. So I hope you still found this video useful, even if you already knew the glitch existed. I just wanted to confirm that it still works during Age of Triumph. And just to prove this was recorded during Age of Triumph, we'll just quickly come over here. 
and I'll show that the uh, Treasure of Ages are here. So yes, uh, Age of Triumph definitely, definitely is active. And uh, yeah, I hope you found this useful. If you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be great. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.